Hello and welcome back to the Hollow World. Back with one more interesting and useful video. We are going to learn how to make attractive and professional thumbnail using Canva for free. So, if you guys spend hours to make a thumbnail, then this will be a very helpful video to you all. So, let's get started with the video. go to canva.com this website or tool can be used not only for thumbnails but also for social media posts like Instagram stories posts Facebook posts logos presentations and whatnot we are only covering YouTube thumbnail today so let's search YouTube here and we get so many available templates you can use them as it is or decorate it a little depends on what you want now the thing is, all these templates are not for free. Some of them are paid like this one and I like this one. Let's see this. Okay, because I am a paid member, I can access this and use this but since we are covering for the free version, so we will be making exact same or almost same thumbnail like this one. The first thing to do is add a new page. Then we select the background for our thumbnail. And it doesn't have to be the same one. Let's go with this one. Now for the main man here. I have already uploaded an image I want to use in the thumbnail. It's very easy. All you have to do is click this upload media and select the image you want. Now since the text is going to be on the left side, so I want the girl to face left to the text. So right here you click this flip and then flip horizontal then we are going to remove the background here i'm just going to use this background removal from canva but you can do this through any free background removal website and then save the transparent image to canva and use the image now next i want a border around the girl there is a trick for that what you do is copy and paste the image and then edit the image and increase the contrast, saturation and brightness to 100. Then position the white image backwards from here. Then increase the size of the background and make it look like a border. After that, now we need these text and the box. So for that, let's choose a curve age rectangle and then copy, change the colors, manage the size and then tilt it a little. Now it's a text. Here in the text, add a heading. Then change the font to any that you like. I'm trying to match so I'll use the same type. And increase the size to your preference and change the color. And do that with the others too. After that, we need these arrows now. For that, we go to elements and search for arrow. This is the exact same arrow. We select them, then we flip this to point towards the text. Okay, now I need a YouTube logo. For that, we go here in more and in photos, we search YouTube. There you go, choose the logo. Now, let me quickly make a border for the logo too. Now, what I need is the logo of Canva. For that, let's go here in Elements and search Canva. I like this one. 
Um, even if the letters are animated, it will be still once we download it in PNG form. Okay, this is the final thumbnail. To download, you go here to download and select the PNG form and download. This is how it looks like. See? It was that easy to make a thumbnail from Canva. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and also please subscribe and click that bell icon so that you will be notified every time I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.